please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon for the future notification to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Thank you so much for your love and support. Hello friends, welcome back to Amazing Means World. In this video, I have come up to share you an idea of making of this. This was the beautiful elegant cutwork sari because this type of patterns will not get anywhere like that and the creating of this unique pattern is so simple. So let's quickly start with this designing and be using the fusion for this which we normally use for the necklines. So now I'll place this underneath the fabric and I'll press it gently. This is how it looks. And here I'll be using white color silk thread also. The normal cotton silk thread which I have binded the thread in the bobbin. And the markings would look like this. The leaf markings randomly. This is how we have to mark it on wherever you want to have this design. That means you can also design this for the dupatas designing. Pallos designing which I have shown in the pic or also overall sleeves or or complete blouse designing this is how the filling will be done or the center part of the leaf will be done with the honeycomb pattern this is how we need to give the markings and today i'm going to use the machine work so here i'll be using usha wanda stitch and this is an automated sewing machine having the length of 0 0.5 inches with the stitch of zigzag and the die adjustment on 3 this is how we have to select it and the silk thread on the spool inserting in the needle the bobbin is already winded with the white cotton silk thread now placing the designed mark and exactly on the marked shape of the outline I will give the stitch of zigzag Slowly little by little pull the thread or else you can also fix an embroidery frame. It will make your work easy. Now I am making the outline of another side of the leaf. I will be giving the stitch line in the center. The stitch line I have decreased. You can see here the prior one is of little broader size compared to now. Now on the honeycomb pattern I will be giving the stitch accordingly on the curve shape. This type of designing you can try on any types of fabrics. The pick I have shown is of tussle silk fabric. That is what I want to clearly mention you that you can try these patterns on any types of fabrics. It's not restricted to this type of fabric or that type of fabric. It is suitable to any types of fabric. But you have to adjust the stitch length while stitching. Because for the cotton fabrics you need to select up to 5 or 6. Or if you are working for the lighter fabrics that means tusser, laser like that. You need to select 2 to 3 the adjustment length. And now I'll be burning in the centers to complete the pattern. As I mentioned, it's a cutwork pattern. So here I'll be using the agarbatti. You can also use the mosquito coil or use the trimmer if it's the lighter fabrics. And this is how we have to burn in the center. Be cautious when you're burning because the borders may also burn. So little cautious you need to follow. Also do not hurt yourself but this type of patterns will really gives an elegant look and it's not easily available in the markets because these are handmade patterns but I want to share you an idea of how to create this pattern which is so simple Use, using our automated sewing machines we can also create this at home easily so I'm almost at the end and the final lookout would look like this I hope sharing of an idea is useful to you all if you like it please hit the like icon to support my efforts also do share this video in your comment your circles may be useful to others thank you so much for watching friends meet you all with another interesting video Subscribe to our Missing Women's World channel. Stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Please do also hit the bell icon to receive future notifications whenever I upload without missing it.